Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Welcome to 2023. This is the first um, session of the new year. Hello, and I hope your end of the year and the beginning of year was amazing. You know, one of the things that I posted was, it's not the end of the year or the beginning of the year or any year that makes a difference. It's what you make it that makes it amazing because it's just another day, right? But the power of collaboration it's like everyone is so energized to make a change to boost their life and do everything so this collaboration this energy that it's happening in the beginning of the year there is something to say about that and that is what can help you energetically emotionally physically because it's like no matter where you look who you look for everyone is saying i am ready to make a change so what is the change that you are about to make what is it that you want to make a difference either in someone else's life or in yours and we talk about purpose right so that's where i come asking you as to did you make a resolution because frankly uh, I I don't like using resolutions I like to set intentions and words of the year so hi Sita John how are you hi Gisela John how are you doing Uh, you know today is going to be this Uh, connection with you it's not about me talking it's about you also responding and thank you for so many emails and calls for the new year and you know it's I believe this is my year and because everything in life happens when you believe it and you believe in yourself or you believe this to be it will so I hope you have set an intention um resolutions as i said i i don't make resolutions for the year or anything but i set an intention so my word for the year has been uh is going to be gentleness and resilience so as someone who is very tenacious I am very tenacious I'm gonna become more resilient more focused in what it is that I am creating and bringing forth and gentleness is to be with doing things in a more gentle way also being gentle with myself physically mentally and emotionally and this too it's like a beautiful combination of a gentile a gentle kind and resilience being fierce and moving forward to a focused attention so what is the word that you would say it is going to be your word because everything i do is i'm going to be having it in the back of my mind saying is this being gentle with myself and others is this me showing up as a resilience and doing things with such power and fierceness in good so i was talking to a friend of mine just a week ago and we were talking about the things that i help my clients with and she said do you deal with addictions and i said addictions that shift into addiction you see addiction is the things that are negative and when we consume it it becomes negative and then we have uh, this negative feeling of why did i do it i shouldn't have i could have done better so it's this 
self-punishment, and then we go into self-sabotage. But when we turn addictions to an addiction that instead of doing something that it's negative, like drinking or smoking or drugs, and we turn it into exercise, it's running, becoming better, becoming resilient in the things, that's an addic, ad, it's an ad- addition to a dictate how you dictate yourself, how you control yourself, how you manage yourself in a more positive, exercising, dancing, writing, journaling, right? So how do you like that? Turn addictions into addiction. Um, Everything is words. (laughs) I love the power of words and things that empower us to be better. Goal for this year, don't ever carry other people's burden to understand that I'm not responsible for fixing everything for everyone. Amen. Hi, Naveed. Happy New Year to you as well. We were talking about words that impact us and have power. And I like to say things that are addictive, we turn it into an addiction. So, yes, Giselle. Exactly. Instead of carrying it, as a matter of fact, believe it or not, you just set me up into saying this. I've got a beautiful course that I have been working for the last few months, and this course is Stand Up to Slim Down. It is a nine-week course, do it yourself or with me, that is going to impact each and every one who Uh, signs up for this course and does this course for nine weeks, the birthing of nine, and that is going to shift your mindset, reset, and take you into a mental state in order for you to stand up for who you are and drop the emotional weight, drop the physical weight, and realize that exactly what you just said carry other people's burden no more carrying other people's burden first burden is heavy burden is so it puts you down and it is a heaviness that not only you have to carry either emotionally or energetically but it's about time this year you come up with a word that says no more because no is as good of an answer as a yes and the program really helps to boost the self-confidence exactly we boost the confidence so you realize you can stand up for yourself and drop drop not lose because losing weight in itself it's like oh my god another loss do you realize how many times you have done a resolution to lose weight and after the first initial rah 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 you go in and by march it becomes slowly you lose this initial resilience this initial energy because it's like the purpose in it, the reason for it. And if you're not confident enough that you can do it on your own, and why? The why in everything is so imperative and meaningful. Why do you want to lose the weight? Why do you want to build your confidence? You're good as you are. But if you want to become better, see, it's not you're not good enough it's do you want to become better for yourself to be proud of yourself i say this every time self-pride trumps everything else self-pride when you stand up for yourself when you speak up not because of overpowering anyone else or telling anyone but when you feel good then you know you can give yourself permission to speak and stand up for yourself and have that body you go yes when you say I'm not gonna carry anybody else's but I'm gonna stand up and yes 
is a good answer. No is a good answer. And for that, hi Nella John, how are you? I just had a beautiful, beautiful Jasmine. I agree, never carry any burden. We need to get rid of stress. <laughs> exactly, Jasmine. And of all the people, it's a realizing there is only so much we can fix and so much we have to let go and embrace, embrace the reality. And I'll share something with you all. I, a few years ago, well, it's been more than a few years. It's now almost uh, five years that I moved in with my mom and realizing that we can't fix our parents, but only support as much as we can. There is only so much we can do. We, there is only so much we can do for our uh, partners in life, for our children in life, for our parents in life. Because no matter how much we want to fix and uh, make it better for them, we cannot change what is reality. We cannot. And realizing your own strength, your own boundaries, because if you break, that's it. So standing up in a way is also realizing that you must also safeguard yourself and be resilient in saying no. And actually, I'm constantly saying resilient, but I want you to come up with your own words. Your own word that moves you forward in the new year. And that word becomes yours. So let's do lunch. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Let's do lunch. Actually, this year, I'm not only putting that program together. It's called a nine-week stand-up to slim down. There's going to be a membership that I am going to be a like a mastermind. Whoever wants to join, February 1, we're moving forward. We're forging ahead. And why am I not doing it in January? Because in February, it is my birth date. And I am rebirthing not only myself, my office, uh, the Heal Within, my website, everything in my life is rebirthing. So this entire January is for you to be aware of it, for you to come up with your word, for you to come up with what it is that you want in your life, and why do you want to make that change. So I'm giving you 30 days. As a matter of fact, starting January 1st, you know everything I do is a three, right? So. On January 1st, I said, I'm doing this in Armenian. We say uh, Muraz, right? Man Muraz am And uh, in Muraz, uh, it was to make a, a decision. I don't know how, uh, uh, how to say it in, um, in English. <laughs> it is to make a decision. Uh, right. So for the next 33 days, which is from January 1 until my birth date, I'm not having any pastries. I'm not having any uh, chocolate, no chocolate, no pastries. And what was the third thing? Uh, and no ice cream. So because those are the things that I really love. Yes. Uh, and what we eat it makes us who we become. So I'm already sweet, but I decided to refrain from chocolate, uh, pastries, and ice cream, only for 33 days. And on that 33rd day is when I stand up and say, this is, I completed my 33, three times three is a nine, the date of a completion, my course is a nine week course and we're starting a membership for nine months to be with me to like a mastermind and that not only you're going to be in a master class with me i'm going to hold your hand and so much is going to come resolution there you go a resolution 
Mm, it's not a resolution, it's more than that, because it's a in setting intention. I don't believe in resolutions. Oh my God, no chocolate? I could have never take anything you want away from me, but not my chocolate. And that is why if you said for the next 33 days, only for the next 33 days, you can, believe me, you can. Because in life, so many women who get pregnant, they stop doing something that it's not good for the child. And why is it that we can do it for our child, for our loved ones, but we say we cannot for ourselves? Here's the thing. If a doctor or someone who you look up to turned around and said, what you just put in your body, if you can refrain for 33 days, it can make a big, huge impact because it's going to affect you in a very harsh way. You'd say, I can let that go right away. So why do we have to wait for something bad to happen in order for us to say, I will not do it again? You know, today, just today, the third Wow, today is January 3rd. Say today for today. For the next 30 days or 33 days or even three days, I can refrain myself from something I truly love and do every single day. And believe it or not, it's a mindset. It's a mindset reset. If you say you do, Jiza John, you can. Jasmine, you can. Each and every one of us. We don't have to be placed in a position that is negative for us to turn around and say, okay, I'll cave in. Instead of caving in, instead of taking a burden, take that addiction and turn it into an addiction. Add to you, add to your vocabulary, add to your desires and wants because the why is you. You're the why. You're the cause. You are the purpose. Because if you are not there, and the rest of them, what are, what are they going to do without you? Hmm. You're going to say, they're going to cave in. But you know what? Everyone will find a way to manage. Believe me. From companies, from being a corporate employee, they can do without you. From a place you are employed, they can do without you. And they, every one of us is replaceable as an employee. And when we think that without me, this cannot go on, it will go on. But if you only we realize isn't it time for you to take care of you being vulnerable being loving being gentle with yourself and being kind to yourself and sometimes you don't have to go anywhere you don't if you only make a decision and say for 10 minutes, this is my me time. And when you're taking a shower, let go of everything. Let everything go. You can even think about the water cleansing, clearing, and releasing, and just let everything go down the drain. <laughs> let it go down the drain. <laughs> so that's another way you can do it. Just stand under the shower and let the water wash everything, cleanse everything, drop everything, and just let it go down the drain. And sometimes you can flush it down the drain. There's so many ways you can just let it go and not carry other people's burden. It's not yours. And take ownership of what is yours. That's it. And I think if we start that, um, it would be amazing. So for the next few days, 
until 1st of February, I want you to do this. Um, it's sharing something with you. What are the things that you have always wanted to do but haven't allowed yourself to do? That's number one. And what is it that you want to invest in? And it can be uh, something very tangible that it's for you, that you wanted to read, that you wanted to do, that you wanted to start, that you had not. What would it be and why? So if you understand what is it that you want, and if you look at every area of your life, I wrote those so I won't forget, um, give yourself an honest feedback. How's your health? How's your wealth? How is your love relationship? That's, I'm gonna fix this year. <laughs> That's another add in my life that I'm going to add into my life. I used to dance four nights a week. I'm gonna bring that at least once a week. Um, I dance all the time. If you haven't seen it, we're gonna bring dancation back. I am gonna bring manifesting intention, dancation, and bring that back because I want us to get up and dance. As a matter of fact, I dance every single morning and sometimes years ago I used to dance in the middle of the street and everyone would look oh there comes Lisa and her dog and I would have the music and I would be dancing trusting that no matter who looks at me I bring joy to their face and I bring a smile to their face and then at one time I was dancing so much in the middle of the street at 11 o'clock walking my dog in my neighborhood only in my neighborhood not everywhere else that my neighbors started dancing with me and another person started dancing and the dogs were dancing you know that's called a link when you create something positive, when you create something loving, when you create something that gives energy and it's an addiction, believe it or not, you inspire others. And I hope I'm inspiring you. Hi, DK, just let it go so true. Hi, DK, Jeff, Jeff, you're here. Hi, Jeff, powerful questions. Dancing in the streets and is mandatory. It is. You know what? I'm going to do that. From now on, once a week, I'm going to go live and dance with you. Hope you join me. And it can be up on a mountain, in the streets. I have no idea. Maybe even in my office. My new office that I'm going to do a, uh, a celebration. Open the doors and do a small little open house. And if you're in town, join me. I will put all that information. It's going to be on my website. It, and we will make an announcement. Yes to dancing. Exactly. Here's the thing. A lot of people feel awkward being on a dance floor or dancing. I know what it feels. It's called self-conscious. Don't do it for anybody else. Do it for yourself. Move for you. When you move your body, your body is happy. When you move your body, all this energy that happens, it's like euphoric. When you smile, it's euphoric. And that's one of my powers to bring that kind of a joy to you and smile. Only focusing on myself and the minors I'm responsible for. When I do that, I get more respect versus when I'm trying to fix everyone else's go figure. Go figure. You know, people are drawn to your confidence, your smile, your resilience. And yes to dancing. I will join you. Yes, Louisa John. Yes. How are you, sweetheart? Happy New Year and love dancing always. And yes, let's do this. Let's create a movement. A movement of, inst that's how we heal within. Because when you are dancing, even for five minutes, you're telling your body, I love you, I'm moving you, I'm loving you, all this energy and joy, and guess what? It's called love, it's called gentleness, it's called feminine power with strength in the legs. 
You see? That's what belly dancing is. If you ever have seen a professional da belly dancer, oh my God, I, I'm from Iran, so belly dancing is so much in our blood. Dancing is in our blood. And I grew up seeing my parents dance, and they used to have parties all the time, huge, beautiful parties, and dancing, soirees, and things like that, in the house, dressed up. And I would be in awe with all everybody dressed to a T, the men in their tuxedos, and it was a house party, New Year's, the holidays, I mean, my dad's birthday, my mom would do parties, there was always music, so my mom, our family loves to dance, so, you know, we all have a purpose, and may your purpose this year be to bring more gentleness and strength, love, dance, joy, and that is prosperity. That's how we create prosperity. It is not about how many thousands of dollars you spent. It's how you spend it for you. And that makes an impact. One little coaster. This little coaster. Actually, there's three of them I have. Um, let me bring the other one. I bought these coasters many months ago when I was down in Laguna. I love to go down to the beach in Laguna. And when I was there, I saw these three coasters. And less than 20 bucks, it's not the money. But when I saw that, it made, it, it talked to me. The first coaster is um, a lotus which very much symbolizes everything I do, my logo, everything, right? So that's one. I believe in the lotus. The second one was a mandala. And a mandala is um, the way we, w uh, it's the web. It's how we do the mantras, the chanting and everything. The mandala, you can also do, do the colorful and everything. Check out what mandala stands for. And it is Indian, it is Asian, it is everything. But, uh, so it's how we, we uh, the web of it. And I will check, you know, to see what is the exact meaning of the mandala. Mandala meaning. Ah. Okay, the meaning of the mandala exactly is a Hindu Buddhist, okay, symbol and diagram used in the performance of sacred rites and as an instrument for meditation. So sometimes when we repeat something and chant, or even a prayer, when we do it over and over, over and over, it sinks in from your conscious and drops into your subconscious mind. And that's what I call you bank it. So the mandala doing the same thing over and over, going, doing the same yoga positions or the walks in a circle, that's in a way, it's a mandala. And the third one, as a heart. So as a heart, this is what I want to bring more into my life, kindness, gentleness, and genuine connection with people, and hopefully partnership and love, yes. So do things that speaks to your heart, to your soul, and that's the intention. Uh, with that, I want to say I am so happy that you are here with me and we will continue our Heal Talk Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. Next week will be more powerful and if there is a subject that you want in more information, if there is a speaker, a topic that you want, oh my God, this year is going to be powerful with speakers that I'm going to bring for you. 
um, that are very focused on bringing more value to you. And uh, let's go. Bringing membership, course, uh, stepping up and into the game and uh, ready to heal within with you all. My name is Lisa Bubari. It's been an honor to be here, to be present with you. Let us all evoke what was and not be stuck over there so that we can embrace what is the reality today and evolve to what it is that we truly desire. Until next week, I bid you goodbye. God bless you and may the universal light surround you. See you next week. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here.